Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to simplify one question based on graphical convolution. Now, here is the question. Evaluate the convolution integral for a system with input x of t and impulse response h of t respectively given by x of t signal as u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 3 and h of t signal as u of t minus u of t minus 2. Before going to solve this problem, firstly we need to consider basic step signal. Now this is the step signal waveform u of t and by doing shifting operations on this step signal like time delay shifting operation by the time instant 1 we may find out u of t minus 1 and by doing delay time shifting operation by the time instant 3 we may find out u of t minus 3 by doing subtraction operation in between these two signals we may find out x of t signal like this. Next, we need to find out impulse signal h of t. For that one, we need to consider step signal u of t and u of t minus 2 signal. By doing subtraction operation in between these two signals, we are going to find out the impulse signal h of t in this manner. Now, we are going to consider the graphical convolution procedure steps one by one. By using those steps, we are going to find the output signal y of t. Now, by considering the graphical convolution procedure steps, firstly, we need to find out x of t signal and h of t signal with independent variable tau. Now, this is the signal showing x of tau and this is the signal showing h of tau. Here, in next step, we need to find out the h of minus tau signal. So, by doing time reversal operation, we may find out h of minus tau signal. Now, doing time reversal operation, this is the h of minus tau signal we can be obtained. Now, in next step, we need to draw both the signals x of tau and h of t minus tau on same tau axis by considering the time shift t. And here the time shift t is going to be the most negative number. So, that signal will be coming into the second quadrant like this. Now, this is the x of tau signal. And this is the h of t minus tau signal. Now by seeing this signal, we observe that there is no overlapping area in between x of tau signal and h of t minus tau signal. So the output y of t will be 0 till t less than 1. So when this time shift t is less than 1 means like 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on towards minus infinity, there is no overlapping area in between x of tau y, h of t minus tau signal. So, output y of t will be equal to 0 when t less than 1. Now, moving to the next graph, here we move h of t minus tau signal towards right side. This is the h of t minus tau. This red signal is going to indicate h of t minus tau signal. If we move this signal towards the right side, this is the overlapping area we can observe. So here, in between these two signals, x of tau and h of t minus tau, the common integral limits are going to be from 1 to t. The overlapping area Integral limits are going to be 1 to t. So, by considering these integration limits, here the output signal y of t is equal to integration 1 to t, the x of tau amplitude is 1 and h of t minus tau signal amplitude is 1. Now, by doing integration, we may obtain y of t as t minus 1 in the period 1 less than or equal to t less than 3. Now moving to the other graph in the period 3 less than or equal to t less than 5. This is the overlapping area we may observe and the common integral limits for both the signals are going to be t minus 2 to 3. t minus 2 to 3. So by considering these integration limits, the output signal y of t is equal to integration t minus 2 to 3. 
and x of the amplitude is 1, h of t minus tau amplitude is 1. By doing integration, this is the equation we can find. y minus t in the period 3 less than or equal to t less than 5. Now moving to the other graph. Here, this is the x of tau and this is h of t minus tau in the period t greater than or equal to 5. In this case, the, there is no overlapping area in between x of tau signal and h of t minus tau signal. So that the output signal y of t is equal to 0 when t greater than or equal to 5. Now, in this manner, we can solve any given question based on graphical convolution. Now, these are the output equations we are finding for the given question like y of t will be equal to 0 for t less than 1 and y of t will be equal to t minus 1 in interval 1 to 3 and y of t will be equal to 5 minus t in the interval 3 to 5 and y of t will be equal to 0 when t greater than or equal to 5. Now by considering different time instances in this given interval, these are the amplitudes we can be find out like this. Now by drawing at different time instances and the amplitudes are these and the output waveform can be like this for this given question. Thank you.